Hey everybody, Mark here at Matterport AEC, and I want to go through a quick video on how to bring in the Matterport three-dimensional data into your Revit model. So the first thing you do is you log into the my.matterport.com page. And go to that folder that has that space. This is a construction site full rehab and it's been scanned fully. I want to bring out the matter pack so I can isolate one of the floors to be sent to one of the trades people. So I'm downloading the matter pack on the left side of the screen. Then I'm unzipping this folder. I'm saving this information to my computer. All the information that's inside that matter pack, the zip file has been opened and I'm saving that data, the material in the matter pack on my computer. I'm starting a new opening of a new folder so I can identify this as the folder later on. I want to bring in the entire folder of data. We collect a lot of information at Matterport and I want to have you bring in all that data. So this is unzipping the information and saving it to your computer in that folder that I just created. I'm going to open it up real quick after this is finished, but you'll see a lot of images and some of those data files. These are what we're going to be accessing in Recap. So here's Recap, Reality Capture. It's Autodesk's program to bring in any sort of scanning, laser scanning, um, Matterport scan. This is how you bring the information through. So this is recommended path by Autodesk. So I'm starting a new project, 42 Summer Street, and here is where I mentioned that previous folder. I'm going to select the entire folder to import. I can drag that XYZ in there by itself, but I want to make sure all the information that's associated with this matter pack is being brought in. So I'm locating the specific folder that I know I just saved. Here it is. I'm selecting this folder, and this is going to be accessed for this new recap file. Here, we're able to view that the point cloud has indeed been brought over. At this screen, you're able to load up the coordinates that are associated with the matter pack. This is a location where you're able to change the view or manipulate the point cloud, uh, flip it horizontally or down different axes as you would please, and also to bring down and decimate the point cloud if, if you ever think that's necessary. This is where you can combine different point clouds that you might see. You might scan different locations and want to combine them yourself or different point clouds were generated by different means. Uh, this process is, is where you would combine them. This is a little bit sped up for the um, importing and indexing of these images, uh, but it is quite quick compared to a laser system. Here is that construction site that I was talking about, and the goal is to bring the section of the third floor out. Third floor, so the ground floor, uh, is the basement. I'm going to call out the first floor, second floor, and then third floor. I'm going to reduce these walls and ceiling. This isn't deleting the information. This is reducing it and obscuring it, hiding it. So when I transfer and save this and export it to Revit, just the view that I want will show up. So as I'm selecting the space that I would like, I'm going to save this information as an, on the exporting tab here, exporting it out. RCP, RCS, those are the two files that I'd like you to look at. RCS is recap scan. RCP is recap project file. Since this is one individual file, I'd like it to be an RCS. That's the best way to do it because it's a single file, and RCP would be for multiple scans. So here we are unifying this information. Remember those folders that I mentioned all those times before? The folder information, the data in those folders, is being optimized within Autodesk's program. So those folders before are now redundant. You can delete them, archive them. The information will always be available on the my.matterport.com page. Switching over just real quick to Revit, opening up a new blank document. When this comes in, I'm attaching this point cloud, you're going to start pulling the walls, building the model that you need to create in Revit. We're providing the information to enable you 
to speed up the process of creating models in places like Revit. So here's the, the, the layout right here. Change the view. You want to go to three-dimensional view. Same thing. Just change the 3D and you can start building your walls. So this is Mark, again, from Matterport AEC. Let me know if you have any questions about what I talked about. Email me through the links below.